when the actual ride began, what happened, well, what one of many methods of how we can do the payment, and again, we're not using traditional currencies here, we're using crypto. So immediately both uh, the amount or the approximate amount of the fare would go into escrow and that's handled by the network. So that means it's just sitting there, no one can touch it. And there are rules associated with that. These will be decided over time, which works, whatever works best for people. If you're in a small town, it may not be necessary. If you know everyone in a big city, you might want to have that. And the reason for that is if something goes wrong, uh, you change the incentive of the driver and the client to resolve it. If both of them are going to lose the money, then probably both of them are going to need to, you know, work a, be a little more calm in that, in that regard. Uh, if the driver's the only one losing the money, it puts a lot of pressure on the driver. Like the client can just go, well, you know what, I don't care. You were wrong. Dispute, dispute. So you've got to be very careful where, how that's positioned and that will take discussion and time to work out the correct balance. Um, most likely it'll be, it goes into escrow. If there's a dispute, you lose your fare you pay for that dispute it puts a little more pressure and the driver also pays for that dispute and that means the money's lost goes into the network and is just vanished no one's paid but the client loses the money um, but if everything goes well once the drive concludes that once the drive is finished then the money is simply transferred to the driver everything is done finished and reviews can then be made you know i liked it five star whatever um, didn't like it thing was dirty and we can even have those reviews possibly although i haven't really worked out a mechanism for this but i'm sure other people have where you can place a review without revealing that you replace you know place that review because i think people uh, sometimes when you're face to face with someone, you don't want to go, oh yeah, that was terrible. And it pops up on their phone. Oh, thanks a lot, mate. You know, so there are mechanisms where we can even have that privacy maintained. Like it, the system will wait till, you know, two or three days pass to release it, releases it as a verified rider, but doesn't say which one. Um, and then from that record, we're starting to create a real understanding of the marketplace that we share with everyone. And that's we, meaning the network, the people who design these sort of things will have that shared with everyone. I mean, your phone is the one that actually gathers that from the, the, the system and shows it to you. So when you next do a ride, you can see those reviews and you have a very, very high level of information and transparency in that.